Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday, Monday, November 6, 2023. Everybody had a great weekend. We've got uh, stocks up just a little bit. Not much. Dow's up 12 points. NASDAQ up 27. S&P futures up a little over six points. So not, not too big of a gap up this morning. Tesla's up uh, one and three quarters. Roblox up a little over one and a half. Bob up one and a half. DKNG up one and a third. Square up a third of a percent. So most stocks flat to in the green. The VIX is up two and three quarters percent. So just something to keep an eye on here. We've got some st stocks in the green and VIX in the green. Bell is rung. So we're off and running. Last week was a pretty good week for the indices. We'll see if they continue here. March upward, Dow up 76 points. NASDAQ up 47, S&P up 12. So S&P pushed up quite a bit out of the gates. Bumblebee. I'm going to look at a putting in a zero DTE iron condor here in a little bit. I'm going to give it a little bit of time here. I'm 
Vic's up almost three percent now, so I'm not not convinced things are going to continue upward. It was a definite push out of the box, but coming down here a little bit now. Getting kind of a mixture of um, red and green bars here for these first ones. Getting our second bar here, so we'll look for some volume for upside or downside volume runner. Apple pushing up, Boeing coming down, a little, two, little two way action going on here. Boeing getting some volume, potential uh, downside volume runner here.
That's really all I'm seeing kind of at the moment here. Now Boeing flipped, so Square flipped as well. It's getting close. Apple pushing up, NVIDIA pushing up, so don't see any volume runners out of the gates here that I like, Baba was close to a downside, but I'm just going to be patient here. Yeah, we are trading the four DTE today. That's correct. Yeah, we we want them in the same. We want them to be same color. So looking for some mighty 90s here. I'm just not seeing much. Amazon getting a potential mighty 90. But actually, that bar is going to get as big as the first. So, not going to be a mighty 90.
MU, potential mighty 90, long. So Amazon getting a big volume bar to the upside. Let's take a look at an MU long here. MU, I would trade the 72 calls. Trying to get filled at buck 30. Filled at a buck 34. The 72 calls. So look for two green bars in a row. Coming down a little bit, so definitely could get a better fill than I got. AMD. Mm, no, I mean, the, that bar is bigger than the first, but look what price is doing. It's just, it's not moving anywhere. So, downside volume runner, I like to see a, a push down with another, you know, then, a, then a, another push down with a big bar. This is down up, down up. PayPal, Mighty 90 long. For sure. I would add to my MU at a dollar twenty. So I'm gonna look at a PayPal Mighty Ninety here. Fifty five calls in PayPal. Trying to get filled at a buck twenty. Filled at a buck twenty. Mighty ninety in PayPal. And I'm going to add to my MU. It's coming down below where I wanted to add. So I'm just going to go ahead and add right now. Filled it a buck 17. 
to add to MU. Amazon getting some conflicting volume there. VIX up over 3% now. I do and Baba Fallen. Apple, though, pushing up. So looking for two consecutive green bars in MU and PayPal. Some long both those. I can see a nice little two bar push up here in uh, MU. Every all the indices still in the green. The Dow's kind of flipping back and forth though. And Apple staying strong. Microsoft kind of setting up like an upside continuation runner. You can see push up. Hasn't moved much. Will it, will it break through? We'll have to see. I'm going to keep my eye on it. MU, I have an order in at a dollar thirty four to close half. Might lower that here. Yeah, I'm going to lower it to a dollar thirty to close half since I added to it. PayPal not really going anywhere. So 
So not much, not much action right now. Just a couple mighty nineties. So far, or it looks like uh, Emmy wants to give us a green bar here. Not much else going on. Yeah, so it looks like uh, MU is going to give us one green bar. PayPal coming down. Keep my uh, eye on that. That could be a potential add in that as well. Nothing else shaking. Uh, I'm going to add to my PayPal if it comes down anymore. Put an order in at a dollar, dollar eight to add. I do. Uh, that would be a downside volume runner, actually, because that bar is as big as the first. But it got it got a green bar that it's, and it's popped up above there already. So that would be a no trade for me on that one. A dollar eight to add to PayPal. Microsoft not moving at all, man. And you gives us two green bars to be able to get out here. Build it a buck thirty. Close half my MU. Got a kid. I get out half my PayPal at a buck twenty.
much else going on for unfortunately. And Microsoft is just not moving. And that's a $356 stock. It's not moving. So I'm going to close out my MU. So I'm getting two green bars. Got about 30 seconds left here. Build a dollar thirty-five to close MU. So nice mighty 90, nice add, two green bars, winning trade. Now if PayPal would do that same thing, I'd be much obliged. Pretty tight range today in a lot of these. I was really looking at an upside continuation runner in Microsoft, but man, it just hasn't come down any. It's just not moving. I mean, it might break out here, but I would want to get a way better fill than where it's at now. But since the initial five, first five minute, ten minutes into the open, it's really been a pretty muted price movement. Ah, oh, look at MU. You should have left a little on for that. I do have a zero DTE iron condor on that's looking good so far. About ready to close out 20%. Nice. You, if, when you paper trade, you can, you can do you can go a lot bigger, you know. When it's paper trade, I most likely when I start trading real money, I'll I, I'll be uh, I trade four contracts now. When I do it, I, I guarantee I won't start with four contracts. Probably when I do real money, I'll probably start with like two. Build a buck twenty, PayPal. Hey, look at that! Nice little push up there. Wow, red blockchain taking off. Although I guess that's a pretty tight range. That bar just makes it look big. Ooh, now look at Microsoft coming down a little bit, folks. Okay. So the question is. Do I, do I want to look at upside continuation here with a push-up consolidation here? A 
I'll jump in a little bit. Microsoft here, pretty low risk, because if it comes down below this consolidation, I would bail. Uh, 355 calls. Build at 375. So if, if it comes down below here, this consolidation point, then I would bail on it. Disney getting a little mighty 90 short, but it's pulled back already and has a real tight range. I would close half of my Microsoft at... 415. Now, oh, Airbnb with him. Big red bar. Build at 415 in Microsoft. So you can see this is a good learning to lesson if you're new. So I wanted it to come down to get the better fill. So I, I when I saw it, you know, come down towards the bottom of this consolidation, I, I that's when I got in. If I if I wouldn't have got in, or if I would have gotten in when it was up here. It would have went against me, and now I'd be back to about even. But since I waited for it to come down, I was able to already get out of half. That's the. That's why you want to really, you know, sometimes be patient on your fills. And if you miss it, you miss it. Yeah, so, you know... I could have gotten in like any time this was in this consolidation up here. But I waited and when it pushed down below, pushed down and had a, you know, a reasonable push down with a red bar down towards the bottom of this consolidation. That's when I got in. If I would have gotten in up here, well, when it came down, it would have went against me and then it popped back up. It would have been right about where I entered. But because I waited for it to come down more before entering, when it did pop up, I got was able to get out of half. Otherwise, I, I would be otherwise, you know, I would be I would it would have been negative and then it would have popped back up and I would have been um you know pretty much even if I would have gotten in too soon or when it was up here. So and I will close another one right now. Build at 455 to close a quarter. Of Microsoft. See, now it's trying to bust out of that. What's PayPal doing? Ah, I thought it was going to give us a green bar. Yeah, see, Disney's got a nice mighty 90 in terms of volume, but it's already come down. It's just such a tight range. There are a lot of stocks that are really going nowhere, just chopping. Coinbase, potential big green bar. this over here's my here's what my zero dte looks like so still setting right there and the pretty much a little left of center 
So sitting pretty good right now. I love that uh, that theta decay helps helps you so so quickly there in in those trades. VIX still up three percent. Nasdaq down twenty. I'm sorry, Dow down twenty. Nasdaq up twenty seven. Yep, yep. Go with twenty deltas and then fifty points wide on the regular iron condors. Amazon's kind of got that consolidation going on like Microsoft did. So again, here's another. So if I was to jump in now and then it came down to the bottom of the consolidation, it, it would put me in the negative right out of the gates. And, and if I, if I got in now and it came down and I'd be negative and then let's say it popped back up, then it puts me back to where I got in. So I'm not profitable. So that's why you don't want to you don't want to jump in when it is where it's at right now. And if it if it blows up through highs of day, you know, you just missed it. I mean, you're missing it. So you know, it is what it is. Uh, PayPal still just. Not, not doing much. PayPal, no green bars at all from it. So you would think we're due for some green bars here, PayPal. Oscar really firing up. So PayPal not going well for a mighty ninety. Getting hammered in PayPal at the moment. I'm not freaking out. Not looking at my PL. S P did come down through lows of day though. No bueno. Things have been strong. They were strong last week. S&P had a really good week last week. So you had to wonder if it was going to, you were going to see some type of pullback. There really hasn't been many, many signals to the downside today, really. Hasn't been many signals at all, honestly.
Yeah, you know, I looked, I looked to see when earnings were, and there was no earnings recently. So here's a situation like if this bar gets bigger than the first, it turns into a downside volume runner. So then you're um I'm 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 bailing on it if it if this bar is bigger than the first because it turns into it. That's what we had. We've had that a couple times here recently. Take a peek at Toss to see what it looks like over there. Not, not as big as the first. It's, it's not going to be as big as the first, so it's not. It's it, it's actually another. It's another mighty ninety signals. What it is, you know. Also, I just noticed this, but. The volume pop in PayPal is a lot better in Orion than it is Think or Swim. I doubt I would have taken it if I would have saw this Think or Swim volume. I'll show you. Let me screenshot it here real quick. Okay, so you can kind of see here like, yeah, it's a little bit bigger, but I ended up getting in right here where this it pushed down, added to it down here. But you know that's not a big volume separation. I, I don't really, I, you don't usually take those mighty nineties when it looks like that. Not 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 in think or swim. Oh, and tasty it was okay. Yeah, I mean it's you could just look at the difference here between Orion. I've got them both pulled up now. Orion and Think or Swim definitely looks good in Orion. Does not look have that separation. And even look at the the third bar in Think or Swim is bigger than the previous, but it's not in Orion. So if I see differences like that, I'm usually not taking that trade. So this is what it is, I guess. So Microsoft popping back up. So hopefully, hopefully PayPal I can get out. You know, it can give us a couple green bars, get out for a, a small loss rather than a big loss. And Meta is nothing but chop. <clears throat> Honestly, this 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 PayPal Mighty Ninety here. Let's see where's that. Here it looks a lot better in Think or Swim than the first one. Oh, AMD had a mighty 92 I didn't notice. And it's getting a green bar. Yeah, real, real nice looking mighty 90 there in AMD. Probably would have got in on that one. Yeah, I saw Piton. It's just that stock, man, that poor stock. Four dollars and ninety-two cents. Used to used to trade Piton all the time when we started these strategies. Okay, so Microsoft pushing back up. I do have a few contracts in Microsoft. Hopefully it can continue upward. 
and I can scale out of those. Amazon, see, it's uh, kind of similar to Microsoft where, you know, if you could have gotten in down here and then it popped back up here, push up, consolidation. Sometimes I should talk less probably and look for signals more. Definitely missed a couple there. Looks like PayPal is going to give us one green bar. I'm real close to getting filled on 20% of my iron condor, zero DTE. <clears throat> I got filled at 675. I got an order at 540 to close half. All right, PayPal's given one green bar. Can it give us two? Meta pushing highs of day. AMD would have been a good mighty 90. And if PayPal is looking like it's probably going to push through lows, I may have to just cut it. I don't know. It's like Oh, there I got Phil at 540 on my zero DTE. I usually always wait for two green bars, but like I said, I probably wouldn't wouldn't have taken PayPal if I'd have seen the volume in Thinkorswim. So PayPal holding.
in order to get out of an, another 20% of my zero DTE iron condor at four bucks. So no second green bar out of PayPal. Not a lot of good movement here. Look at Boeing bouncing all the way back. It's kind of what I wish PayPal would do, but it's not looking good. So Still gonna still gonna try to wait for two green bars consecutive here. Yeah, not 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 much, not much uh, action in terms of other signals. Walmart flirting with highs of day. And yeah, that mighty 90 and AMD would have been really nice. Pretty muted price movement on a Monday, honestly. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm still holding it, honestly. It's got it's 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 had two mighty ninety longs, really. But I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes you run into. You know, something like this where it gives pretty good signals, but for whatever reason, it's just doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Something, something I've done in the past is you know, when this happens and I know I'm getting getting down quite a bit here in the mighty 90 because for whatever reason, it's just not getting two consecutive bars in the direction I need. Some, sometimes some things I've done is when I've gotten a, a, a good second mighty 90 like this is I add a completely new position with new strikes. Take a look at that. So, for example, um, like the 54 calls. would be a completely new position and I would I would really be playing this um second mighty 90 which you know looks pretty good based on the volume and it looks really good in think or swim as well we're gonna kind of see how this last minute goes with PayPal
All right, I'm going to add a position at 54 calls. Fill it a buck 40. And if you're not in PayPal and you want to get in PayPal for the first time, you know, that's, that's a good spot to get in. So if, if it pushes up and we get two consecutive green bars, then I'll just close out both positions. I mean, at some point, it's going to get two green bars. It's just don't know when. I mean, here's the thing. Like, crazy part is, is all the indices are green except the Russell. I would close half of my uh, the fifty four calls in PayPal at dollar fifty five. <clears throat> Walmart pushing through highs of day. Yeah, Bumblebee. Well, Microsoft popping back up. Oh, man, look at Meta pushing through highs now. Roku is another one that's staying weak. Although Roku was up pretty big last week after earnings. So some people might be selling off profits or you're taking the profits. Well, it's 930. I don't central. I don't think I'm going to take any other trades. So if here's what I'm going to do. I've got a few contracts of Microsoft left. If it breaks below this um, consolidation, I'll get out. And then I'm just going to wait for two green bars, consecutive green bars in PayPal. I mean, going to happen at some point so i will be back tomorrow so everybody have a great rest of your day and i'll see you tomorrow peace